Well, hey everyone, welcome back. Today is uh, part three of our aquatic dark ride. Um, yeah, uh, we pretty much finish it in this part, uh, the interior of it. I think there's two rooms that I, I don't finish, but we start working on the, the queue section. We start working on the facade outside and we start placing down some paths. Um, <laughs> so. I paused because uh, I think I said in the last part, I was like, well, this was a dark ride, and then it turned into a theme park. Yeah. Um, it's not, not, not a bad thing. I'm really happy with how it's turning out, but I'm just like, I said to myself a, a million times, I'm like, I'm not going to let my first Planet Coaster 2 project become a major project, like a huge thing. And then, well, it, it, it did. <laughs> so, uh, here is some like sped up, uh, some sped up footage of the ride so far. Uh, it was really sped up, so I apologize for that. But um, you can. I was testing out like the, the the different sight lines, and these fish are really high up. So I think I do lower them. Um, but again, I think they're really goofy and how they're just like on like strings. I think it's just adorable. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, <laughs> I'm having so much fun with, with this little park. Uh, I was trying to build it... Like, okay. I had built the the sign, which I think you'll see later in the video, or I'll, 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 I'll put a picture up of the sign. Um, but it reminds me so much of, like, old Epcot. I was just like, the colors and, like, the the swoopy like ocean logo thingy. I don't know. Uh, I, lo I love old Epcot and uh, Epcot is one of my favorite parks like ever. Um, I mean, they kind of ruined it. <laughs> Not to tangent immediately, but damn Epcot. What, what, what are you doing? Oh, the entrance used to be so beautiful and eighties and retro and cool. And now it just feels like a tech campus and kind of, bland and sad um but hey that's why i'm building this right to you know like theme parks can be cool you know and you can put if you have an, <laughs> an unlimited budget absolutely uh but i don't know i was kind of building this to be like oh like what if epcot were to expand like the sea pavilion or what if sea world wanted to build like a little kids area or something uh, because in this, I did build, like, uh, the Blueprint uh, Tiny Eye and the Aquatic Teacup Ride that, that came in the ride, or in, in the game, like, already. So, uh, I just think they're really, really beautiful blueprints, and I didn't really change anything. Um, I might go back and detail them and change them a little bit, but honestly, the blueprints in this game, they're beautiful i mean just the base game just placing them down um i haven't detailed a flat ride um i think i did it in my my first impressions video and i wasn't really trying in that video honestly it was just my first impressions i was playing it for like two and a half hours just trying to see what the tools were in this project oh boy i learned a lot um like, I think I said in that video, I didn't like the the new pathing tools. No, I... Listen, okay? They might not be perfect. Um, they might be missing some things. But they are such an improvement from the first game. Like, you can place down paths in this game. And you can then select them, move them around, save them as a blueprint. Like, you don't really have to worry about paths anymore. And you can make like all kinds of like geometric patterns. Like I was working on like a like a water park, and I did like a like a hex, uh, a, like like a hexagon pattern thingy. It's so sick. It's so neat. I'm just like uh, the pathing in this game is so neat. I love it. It's oh, they did such a good job. Uh, I don't know. I know people on Reddit are like kind of butt hurt that like the game is out too early, and I I absolutely like you know I I agree with you. But sometimes you just gotta have fun. You know, it's what Cindy Lauper always says, you know, girls just wanna <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm in such a weird mood today. Um, I don't know. Just, I think the game... If you're looking for the management side of it, yeah, it's kind of broken. But the creative side, I think, is incredible. It's just visually... I think the ray tracing adds so much to it. I didn't think it was going to add that much, but... Oh boy, it is just, it's just so good. So, uh, in this queue, um, I kind of build, there's like three, there's four separate rooms. Um, there's this larger room, which is like a big red room. There, I don't know, I don't know how to count. There's three rooms, <laughs> not four, there's three. Uh, there's this one, which is kind of like a dark room. I kind of wasn't sure what to put in here, so it kind of is blank um there's this room which doesn't stay like that the pathing could use like the the q paths are a little strange uh they could use an update i think uh th there's this room which is more of just like a i don't know like a uh, an unload load room for like materials maybe because if this is like an institute maybe they have like you go on like a bunch of like expeditions or whatever so that could be like where they import all of the food and stuff i don't know <laughs> i don't know i'm not good at lore building um yeah the pathing is strange but it it does work i was trying to leave enough gaps to like put scenery in uh, I think along the back wall of that long room, I add, like, I think I want to, like, Nat Geo Kids or something, and I found a whole bunch of, like, sea facts, so they're, like, fun facts on the wall. <laughs> it's a kid's ride, okay? It's, like, a little kid's area. Um, I thought it was, I just, I would love this ride if I, if this was built in, like, Epcot or SeaWorld or, I don't know, I mean, I haven't been to SeaWorld, but... If this was built in real life, this would be like my favorite ride. I would ride it a bazillion times. I know everyone, well, I don't know everyone, but I know a lot of people in the community are like big coaster fans and I'm not. I just, I don't really understand roller coasters. Everyone is like, oh, like there's this specific like maker with this specific model of train. And I'm like, I, it looks like a speedy launch coaster to me. Does it go upside down? Because I will not be going on it if he does that. Um, I, I, I don't do well with coasters. So slow moving rides like this? Absolutely. You know, especially if you can just sit down, take in the environment. Like I really want to make one of these, uh, these vehicles, but I want it to be kind of like the people mover in like Tomorrowland, where it kind of like snakes through every other like attraction. I think that could be like a really cool mini very small. <laughs> I have to, if, I, if I'm thinking about this, I have to be like, it's going to be small. Um, so it won't turn into this situation again. But uh, I think that, that would be kind of cool, right? You have like different like attractions and things. And then you have this Omni Mover that kind of like weaves through everything, maybe like up top. Um, like how the old people mover, how you could like look into like different shops and things. <gasps> that would be so cool. My only thing is, I don't know if... Because the speed has to be consistent for an Omni Mover. And I know that the People Mover at Magic Kingdom kind of like speeds up and slows down and speeds up and whatever. Uh, I don't know if that would be a good thing to do in an Omni Mover like this, because then... Well, no, because that wouldn't be a thing, because they're all chained together, so that wouldn't work. They'd have to be... It's just a very slow-moving thing. Um, but I think that would still be a pretty cool idea. It would have to be all covered, though, you know. So that would probably require having like a like a cover on everything. And you know what? This is this is the thought process for another time. I think um, it's a cool idea, though, having one of these as like a people mover transport ride, right? Because y you can, or potentially, they're going to be doing. Um, load stations and unload stations in the next patch so that's exciting so then basically everything can become a transport ride so if you wanted to build like a coaster that just goes up like a wall to like a plateau 
you can. I don't know how you get it down, but like that doesn't have to be accessible, so you can just like dig like a straight tunnel down. <laughs> Who cares about G forces? There's no one on the ride. Um, that would be interesting. But I don't know. I think one of the rides I want them to bring back in this desperately is the Polarity ride, which is their like people mover, but for Magic Kingdom. And if they bring it back, I really wish that they. Well, actually, never mind, because you can add scenery, so never mind. I'm gonna just. If they bring it back, right? I, I was gonna say, I would love if they had. If they could do, uh, like, a 1960s version of it. But you can add scenery to cars now. So. You can basically just make the 1960s version of the People Mover if you want to. Just, I'm making a list. I guess I'm just making a list in this video of things I really want to do. Um, <laughs> this is the one good thing about like not, not thinking about a game for a long time and not researching a bunch of stuff is you kind of just get really inspired all at once to just build stuff and just get into it, you know? Like I kind of do this with The Sims where I don't watch any trailers. I don't really watch anything really learn about the news or anything like that. I just kind of jump in and try to make stuff on my own without watching any other people do it, which that might sound weird. Um, I don't mean it to be like rude to not watch some, some certain stuff. I just, sometimes I just like to explore for myself, you know, and figure it out and see what I can do without like I don't know. I'm a stubborn person, so I like to learn for myself, I guess. Uh, like, the pathing system. Uh, in my first impressions video, I was like, I don't like the pathing in this. It looks, it's kind of it's kind of strange. I don't know if I'm going to like it. It's a good system. They improved it on it a bunch. The cues need help, but it's pretty good. I don't know. I guess it just goes back to the, like, I don't like change type, <laughs> type thing. It's this, oh man, I just, I can't stop smiling when I'm talking about this game. It's just, it's so good. And we're 12 minutes into this voiceover. I'm running, I'm running out of things to say. I'm sorry. Um, I'm really terrible at voiceovers. <laughs> I really am. I'm not, I'm not good at them. They kind of stress me out. Um, because I tend to ramble and not talk about things that are very topical. And then I try to figure out things to talk about in the video. Um, I like the coral pieces. Those are really neat. And I like how they all glow in the dark at night. And I like that you can... Well, also, a thing that's really game-changing in this one is the scaling. And I... In The Sims 4, you can scale things. And I remember it being like a really big deal. Um, but as the game kind of went on, yeah, it's still like a big deal. but. I feel like I use it less and less. Um, <laughs> I think with this, with the trees and the coral and the certain pieces that you can, you know, make huge and tiny, it just, it's going to make such a big difference for all the amazing people in this community that build the most realistic, crazy stuff. I'm not really one for realism. Uh, like. The most realism that I'll put into one of my builds is making sure that there's staff paths to the back, making sure there's like staff rooms, and like making this in a building. That's about it. I'm not good at realistic stuff um, in terms of just like park details and making sure it looks realistic from like a backstage perspective. Um, I'm better at guest facing stuff, I guess. Is, how to say that. I don't know. I'm not good at theme park terms or whatever. So I know we have a bit left in the video, but I think I'm going to end the voiceover here. Um, the next part I think is the last for this dark ride, which is super exciting. Okay. Uh, and then we move on to the themed area around it. So at the end of the video, you can see I placed down paths and I'm kind of just like exploring the pathing system and making up some like weird shapes. I wasn't entirely sure what I was really doing and I just kind of colored them weirdly. So they kind of look like a mistake, but 
they're not. They're intentional. <laughs> so, um, I like how it turned out, though. I think they're, like, really colorful and kind of, like, you know, wacky shapes and stuff like that. So, anyway, I will see you guys in the next part, uh, because I don't know what to talk about. I'm bad at voiceovers, you know? It's something I gotta get used to doing and get better at. So, um, don't mind me, but I will see you, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, goodbye.